Hour of On Point, I'm Nompumelelo Siziba. We welcome our SABC2 viewers. After, like if you receive, my phone loves you. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. We can do the test.
Stand by. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon to the viewers and good afternoon to the listeners uh, on the radio. Uh, and welcome to this uh, briefing which follows the President's uh, announcement on the changes to the risk-adjusted strategy of government on, uh, on, the, on COVID-19. Uh, Minister Lamini Zuma will now uh, brief us on the on the major aspects of the or the overview will give us the overview of the regulations and then the details as gazetted in the regulations the minister will be coming and fleshing out those details for us uh, how this briefing will, will run is that we will ask the minister to come up and uh, give us that overview of the regulations and then we'll allow some question time thank you very much and with that uh, minister uh, please come and brief us. Can you hear me with a mask or should I take it off? Uh, we can hear you. Hello. Uh, thank you very much, uh, colleagues, members of the media, and compatriots. Thank you for taking the time for us to elaborate and announce on the announcements that the president has made over the weekend. We have gazetted the regulations. Indeed, as the president said, I quote, it has been an immense difficult five months and the pandemic has taken a heavy toll on the health of our people, our families, our communities, on the public health system, on the economy, and on people's everyday life. The pandemic has called on all of us to make individual and collective sacrifices. It is only through united action and the pursuance of a common goal that we can overcome the pandemic. Consequently, we may still be called upon to make further sacrifices and act jointly towards a common goal of defeating the pandemic. You will also recall that COVID-19 arrived on our shores when our economy wasn't doing well. There was high unemployment, rampant poverty, high inequality and hunger. The vast majority of our citizens continue to have uh, shortages of basic services like water, sanitation, roads, and adequate housing. Our health and education systems were also not adequately equipped to deal with the challenges presented by COVID-19. Consequently, we had to mount a response that could adequately respond to the health and social and economic challenges presented by the pandemic. In recognition of our realities, we adopted the risk-adjusted strategy on the 21st of April. This allowed us to gradually open up the economy despite the increasing infection numbers as we walked the tightrope of balancing saving lives and livelihoods. Regrettably, over 11,000 of our people have lost their lives to the virus. We take this opportunity to re-extend our condolences to their families, friends and colleagues and community members. We also know that some of the health workers and frontline workers have also lost their lives. But we'd like to again salute the health workers and all frontline workers who are at the forefront of this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after a rapid rise in infection over the months of June and July, 
the daily increases in infection recently appears to be stabilizing. There is a notice, noticeable decrease, particularly in the larger provinces, the Western Cape, Gauteng, Eastern Cape. However, KwaZulu-Natal still provides some challenges, but we hope it will decline soon as well. Over and above the improved national case recovery rate and more than 80% uh, of infected people are recovering, the fatality uh, rate is also less than 2%. This suggests that the prevention measures that South Africa and all South Africans have implemented have been effective. This was confirmed by the Minister of Health, who informs us that there is now sufficient hospital capacity, including ICU space and ventilators. Consequently, we have called for a temporary suspension on the building of field hospitals and will be redirecting to maintenance and repairing existing facilities. As we continue with our fight against this COVID-19 virus, we aim to limit hardships and there is no desire to leave stringent prohibitions in place when they are no longer necessary. It is for this reason that we have lifted the restrictions on a number of areas, but have maintained the curfew between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. Interprovincial travel is now permitted. Basically, what it means traveling around South Africa is permitted. The sale of alcohol at off-sale and retail outlets is permitted, albeit with restrictions. Off-sale only between Monday and Thursday from 9 to 5. Alcohol will be served also at places like restaurants, bars, taverns, uh, where uh, they are licensed. These establishments can operate, but only with a maximum of 50 patrons, so long as the health and hygiene protocols are observed. These include washing of hands, sanitizing, wearing of masks, and also 1.5 meters distance. Of course, whilst people are eating and drinking, they take off masks but in between they have. We have also opened up gyms and fitness centers, and they are also permitted to conduct business with a maximum of 50 people and subject to strict health and hygiene protocols. So fitness and gyms are allowed to have 50 people at a time. So during the day, they'll probably have lots of people, but at any one time they should only have 50. Restrictions on beaches and parks have been lifted, but also subject to prevention protocols and directions to be issued. The resumption of water-based activities and certain categories of tourism activities, including boat-based whale watching, scuba diving, shark cage diving, kayak, Kayaking, river rafting, speedboat rides are also open, subject to health protocols. Certain environmental sector activities are opened, including zoos, aquaria, animal sanctuaries, and rehabilitation centers, subject to strict health and hygiene protocols including sanitation, wearing of masks, maintenance of social distance. To further mitigate the risk, the Department of Health is working with the relevant departments and sectors to develop guidelines. Hospitality and entertainment business, such as 
accommodation establishment, tour operators, and casinos operate at 50% of floor capacity. Theaters and cinemas are now permitted to operate at a maximum of 50 persons at a time, subject to health and hygiene protocols, such as mask wearing, social distancing, sanitizing, washing of hands. Social events at places of residence are now permitted. This includes visits to friends and family, so long as there are no more than 10 visitors at a time. And the whole protocols of wearing masks, sanitization, washing of hands, and safe social distancing are observed. I think this is very important to emphasize because people, when they visit, they'll be probably visiting pe people who are over 60, some of them, who have comorbidities. So nobody would like to visit and find that because younger people, sometimes they carry the virus without knowing they are positive. And you don't want them to come home or to visit a grandmother, aunt, uncle, or whatever, not knowing that they are positive, and then infect the older people. And we know that the older people are at risk. Their mortality rate is high. So it's important that when you visit, you still stick to the protocols. You still wear your mask, sanitize, and keep your distance so that your visit should not lead to grief. So it's very important. Social gatherings such as funerals and weddings are now permitted as long as there are no more than 50 people gathered. But also the pro health protocols must be observed. Uh, they, the night vigils are still not permitted. Funerals are still limited to 50 people wearing masks, washing of hands, and social distancing. It is our hope that in undertaking these activities, we'll maintain the strict protocols of social distancing, wearing of masks, sanitization, and washing of hands. We must exercise more caution and be more vigilant than before. It is our actions that will determine our future. When we further open the economy, it doesn't mean that the risks are lower. All it means is that we're trying to balance livelihoods, opening the economy, but the risk of the virus is still there. And the virus does not move, people move the virus. So the more people move around, the more the chances of the virus being taken from one person to the other. So that is why it is so important that as we open up pretty much everything, we must ensure that we keep to the health protocols, sanitize, wear masks, and keep a social distance. Because if we don't, we will see a next wave of uh, infections, maybe even a bigger surge, which we would like, as South Africa, to avoid. We're in it for a long haul. It's not going to finish tomorrow. Therefore, we must remain vigilant and not get tired of mass sanitizers and social distancing. And for us to be able to fight successfully this virus, we must think of President Mbegi's words when he said, I quote, those who complete the course will do so only because they do not, as fatigue sets in, convince themselves that the road ahead is still too long. They, because if we think, oh, now I'm tired, 
and then you get legs about the health protocols. You can infect other people and you can get infected yourself. So we shouldn't tire. We must just take it as a way of life now. I'm sure we saw some time back Chinese, even before COVID, they were always wearing masks. It was like a way of life. Initially, I think they were wearing it for pollution, but now it's for the virus. We must also just get used to it. It must be cool to wear a mask. We must therefore protect each other because we are not safe until we are all safe. As we undertake social visits, let's keep our mask on, let's wash our hands, maintain social distance. And then, Masses Puzile, Sbuele Makaya, when we have been drinking and we are now going back home, let's not get behind the wheel. If you are drunk, don't drive. Don't drink and drive. Let us drink responsibly and protect all our people, especially women and children. Let's not abuse women and children and pick fights. We would not like to return to a higher level of restrictions, so we must all act responsible. We must smoke cigarettes as they are now allowed, but don't share them because you can pass the virus to the next person. Given the high levels of risk associated with international travel, will continue with such restrictions. So international travel is still not opened. Having seen how young people have carried the virus to the elderly from nightclubs, we will continue with our nightclubs closed. And we've learned from other countries who opened up nightclubs, they had to close them pretty fast because the virus was just moving as fast and as energetic as the people at the nightclub. So to limit the risk, we have also implemented restrictions of spectators at sporting events. No spectators are allowed. Cruise ships for leisure are also not allowed. We also alluded to the fact that all our efforts are directed at the delicate balance of saving lives and livelihoods. To which end, we must say the strategy was a dynamic roadmap that would drive, strive to maintain relevance and advance our fight to protect people, but at the same time secure livelihoods. We wish to thank all South Africans, individuals, traditional leaders, NGOs, workers, women's organization, business people, youth organizations, and every single South African for their contribution to the fight against COVID. But the fight is not over. Please continue. Even though we have eased restrictions, the risk is also increasing, for it is people who move the virus. We must, with vigilance, defeat the virus together. We must soldier on, work together. Indeed, it's all in all our hands. And it's not done until it's done. We still don't have a vaccine. We still don't have a cure. So let's continue. I thank you. Uh, Nagubantu be media, Bama Pepa, in Tateli, Nagni Nabnonke Band Basse South Africa, Ugutin Tateli Lituba, Uguti, Sizola Lilana, Gescati, C. Casa, Uguti Gales in the show President Gembela Sondo, says Fagiwe, Zabaum Teto, Zakazeto. Jango Bumonga Mela, Shoguti, Beguis Cati. Ne nyanga ezintanu ezinzima. Ngoba lesifo 
leligciwane lo covid lo covid 19 luthathe abantu abaningi futhi lube nengcindizi eh kwezempilo nakubasebenzi abasebenza kwezempilo nakubasebenzi abasebenza ukuvikela nabo bonke abantu okuyibona abasholayo kulo kulempi lube ingcindezi futhi emindenini nasemphakathini nas na nakwe na, 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 zempilo nje zizonke laba ingcindezi futhi nakwe zomnotho kanye nje nokuthi lishintshe impilo zethu nje ngendlela esazi ngayo impilo usuku nosuku eh kodwa ke ukuze siphumelele ukulwa naleqiwane kufanele ukuthi sihlangane sibe munye sisebenze sisebenzele into eyodwa yokungqoba leligciwane eh kufuneka ukuthi kube khona eh ekade sikuthanda ekade siku kusijabulisa kwesinye isikhathi singabe sizakwazi ukwenza ngoba sizama ukuthi silwe naleligciwane eh uma sikwazi ukwenza njalo sisebenza sonke ndawonye njengesizwe njengabantu basemzansi siyokwazi ukusinqoba kodwa ke sikhumbule futhi ukuthi lesifo sifike ngesikhathi simo somnotho la emzansi singahambi kahle eh kukho nanobumpofu nabathu bemsebenzi entuleka eh nje kukho nabantu abangenako ukudla kahle eh futhi nezi ne, nezinsiza ezinye zingekho njengamanzi bekhona imphakathi engenayo wamanzi engenazo e, indawo ezokuyo zokuya endle bengenayo imgaqo abanye banye bengenazo nezindlu e, kanti nezempilo zethu sifikele sifo zingekho ezingeni lokuthi singalwa nalesifo siphumelele nezemfundo sibonile bekukhona inselelo ezithize ebezikhona ikakhulu ngamanzi but ikakhulu ngamaxasa aqinene inga nezigcinene loko ke kwenza ukuthi uhulumeni azame ukuthi enze i lockdown kokuqala ayenze ngendlela yokuthi singa bepetheki kakhulu lesifo ke sikhathi sisazama ukulungisa lezinto bekufanele zilunge ze especially ikakhulu kwezempilo kodwa naka education nakwezinye izinto noma seyiphumi lockdown senza le strategy esithi ke si si sibheka ubungozi bese sehla kancane kancane singaveli sifule nje ngobukuba savele savula nje cabangani ukuthi ngabe sikuphi ngamana ngenge ngamanana abantu asebesitholile lesifo namanana abantu asebesishile ngabe impela kubi kakhulu eh siya kuphlunguke ukuthi noma kunjalo baninga abantu abashiyile eh abangaphezu kwenkulungwane ezishumi nanye sithike emtenini yabo nasebanganini nakubantu abasebenza nabo akwehlanga lungehlanga sifuna futhi ukuthi abantu bezempilo nabo bonke laba basebenza abahamba phambili kulesifo noma amasosha noma amaphoyisa noma abasemajele noma wobana abaphamba hamba phambili sithi kubona eh siya sinethulela isiqoko kokwenza kahle umsebenzi wenu siyazi kunzima empeleni abanye benu baze bathola leligciwane abanye baze bashiya 
sithi ke kulaba bashiyile imphefumu lo yabo iphumule ngoxolo kodwa kinina sithi siyabonga qhubekani nenze lo kweben kwenza konke ke lemzamo yenze ukuthi kuze kufike kile ithuba esikilona namhlanje lapho sesikwazi ukuthi sithi awo noko ekwezempilo sekuyaxeka ezibedlela kusaqinene impede seyikhona i ICU kumbi eh laba sengqayini lifulekile manje nemshinde yokuphefumula isivulekile isikhone ngasebenzi elindile nje lokho kwenziwe imzamo yethu sonke kwenziwe ukuthi sikwazile sonke ukuthi sacrifice into eziningi esizithandayo indlela yempilo ebesijwayele sesifike ke lapho sesithi noko sekungozi makhaza okusho ukuthi sesingavula kakhudlwana manje ngoba masibheka eh iphondo lase Eastern Cape selingcono i i amanana abantu abathola lesifo sesiyehla nasentshona koloni naso siyehla nala ikhawuteng siyabona siyehla akusho ukuthi abekho kodwa inamba sisafana ngoba niyakhumbula kwake kwakho nesikhathi impela la kwakuba u12000 13000 inkulungwane eziyishumnambili ngelanga manje noko sekungcono ekzn nakhona kusafana kodwa ke khona sisenalo uvadlwana kodwa seyethemba ukuthi nakhona kuzokwehla nabantu asebengcono akade benaso lesifo sebe baningi aba ishagalo mbili eshumini ayi bayasimama e naba shonayo e ama percent ama angaphansi kwamabili abashonayo so ke siyabonga ukuthi sonke sibambe ikhaza lapho kade sikhona kwaze kwafika lapho sisikhona manje ungqongqoshe wezempilo njengoba esememeze lithayi sekungcono e okusho ukuthi ke nokwakhiwa kwezibedlela lezi ezi ebezakhiwa nje ukuthi zibe zesikhashana sekuzoke ukuthi ukuma ngoba khona ezinye ezikhona ezinempede engagcwele eh iko ke sesifikela sesithi kuzovulwa manje eke ukuthi kuvulwe izinto eziningi sithemba ukuthi masivula akuzuphinde futhi sibone lamanane sekhuphuka futhi ngesivinini kodwa lokho ngeke kwenzeke uma sonke sikhumbula ukuthi njengoba kuvulwa akusho ukuthi lesifo asekho noma sekukhona ikhambi noma sekukhona ivaccine cha sisekhona futhi sahanjiswa abantu asikakwazi ukuzihambela njengoba ke kuvulwa kusho abantu bazohamba kakhulu sonke sohamba kakhulu sivakashe senzeni senzeni kodwa sihamba naso yithe thatha lesifo sisusela sisibekela sisithathe la sisibekela kusho ukuthi ke ngempela imgomo le yakho health kwezempilo yokuthi kufanele sihlale sigeze izandla njalo noma sisanitize ngale ngale umuthi yakhona eno alcohol 70% sifake izifonyo kusabaleke kakhulu siqaqane singahlali ngokusondelana sekubaleke kakhulu ukudlula ngoba manje sisihamba kakhulu okusho ukuthi ke manje ukhamba nje la South Africa sekuvumelekile sungasuka kwenye province uye kwenye sekuvumelekile kodwa imthetho 
aikikisiwe. Nesi ifo asmile. Kushkutige. Ashambe in. Kodwa siti samba. Sibe sifaga mamask. Sibe sukezi zanja. Sibe sikakana. E, kodwa age. Kusashi oguti. Kusuge langote nepsugu. Kuse goshaya. Ihora le sine. Eksin. Funega. Ubesikaya. Kapanje mausi msebenzini. Unepemitige. Ama poisa yu ibona leo pemit. Maya ibuza. Igo gese siti. Ngoba se, segu ngono. Na seipede la segu ngono. No kwa yu suya vulu. Segu ngapenywa. Kodwa gesashu kutimsanu kupemisana. Ngoba logo kusanga enzu kuchikati virus. Kiwa nesuge gomunye, liye gomunye. So, Bochwa ala, sebi afunyelwa. Koto agebona, Buse na ayu, I, 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 Abdaiso. Ngobi mpela sondu ila apa bandu beptenga kona kakulu. Bepuza kona kakulu. Lakla lwa kona la baba na ma license. Bona banga vulage. Ebu puzwe. Kotwa na kona. Abuzu puzwa. Upsugu bonke. Aiko nje. Indao ezobe ifulile. Keskati se kefi. Keskati se kefi. Yonki nda ufunegi bivalile. Efuti. Akfanele kube kweni nda ula kuna bantabanga pezu kwa mashuma matlano. Uminda o. Ivu uma kutiniba mashuma matlano. Nikakene. Kotu imi ngane. Inga vumi. Kufunega kube isbalu isi ngane. A mashuma matlano. Ilapunga zuli kona. Kodwa agushu kuti. Sunga inanisa bantu. Ngoba njuti ufuna baba mashuma matlanka. Kufunega still. Basale. Kukakani. Kanti nuhafu. Kanti nuhafu. Kufunega bawa bakezi zanja. Kufunega ba. Koga mifonyo. Kapanju mtu maeza. No mepuza. Koti sifonyo siya funega. Lapo wanti ugebe ya ube yoji makona. Sege avulwa na kona. Kodwa kufunega banda bau 50. Umagu iji mengule kwa zukutata banda bau 50 beka kene. Discard. Siazi kutage kumtosha leji mini langa longe. Ushut ngeskat ngeskat kufunega baba mashuma matlana. Ewe. Senga yi wago luanji. E, Gyo ngebele gulu anje. Kotwa na kona. E, guzoba. Kufanel gute. Imteto ya ga ya simpilo. Ikinu. Nemiza lole ya manzi. E, hamba na manzi. Hamba nge mkumbi. E, Logo kutu yi speedboat. Nogo pega. E, ama wheels. Nogo diver. Nogo shaga. Yonke leyo. Isia vuhu. Kwa duwage umpati iso kondene na yo uzo shuti izo sebe nza ganja. Na la pukbuwa konilwa ne mazu. Na la ama pukbuwa konilwa ne za se manzini. Longe logo segi ya vuhu. Kwa duwa imteto yeze mpilo. Kufunegi kinwe. Umpati iswa okondene na yo uzo kaza gabanzi kutikizo sebe nza ganjani. Inda uzo ngebelega no kujabula sezi avulwa. Abantama na lababa peleze labantaba matoza bafunugo buga no kasi no segi avulwa. Kodwa lapo kufunega uguti abantu. 
babe ama shumi ama sano kodwa kumakasino e, na kwezi ngindao kuba u 50% kushkuti umangu mteto lindao itataba ndaba u 10 kushuzo fani babe basano ma itataba u 20 fani li kube wafu ngatluli lapu umini umpati swago konene nayo uzukaza kutwa imteto yeze mpilu ufaneli sebe nzile kugogonke masi ya emati yeta siobuga siobuga la bazali no masi ya gobuga la ama muvi ba u 50 pe la bantu lapu abasuli 50 umawinda wengani babi ngapanzo Maguinda wega se was u tatu fifty, but no afu, then tatu fifty a mashuma masan. Se ses fumelegilege futuk vagash, svagasheli sobo, svagashe la bangani kotwa. Kuba legega kuluge, uguti mau vagasheli sobo. Gobiga kulu zotoluguti, ikengengan, ivagashe la bazal. Kenge nani vagashela e, omkul no koko. Ivagashela o babegaz. Ivagashela o malume. Bona batala. Kogunye futibanezi nizifu. Si angela agega kulu kuti man, man vagasha. Fagi maski no musu figi ile kaya. Na uvagashela kona. Uikogunga ikipi. Futi uzkezi zanda, sanitize. Futi ninga sali inane. Kubalegi le logo ngoba. Angiti agaya kumtofu ngutu kufagasha gwake. Kutine segleta isifo ekaya. Nomas kutine segletu kala ekaya. Agaya kumuto tanda logo. Ngani ngoba. Kuko na banta bana sole si fogota bangas esnga bakulis abazi kuti bana so bona baza mbela ba county ba right kanti ba sfafas igo ge kufaneli kuti mau vagashela no mai group la vagashela kon uzje luguti angas no mangna so no mangna so ngago ge angfagi mask sfonyo asnga pumemloni. Kezi zanza, sanitize, nikakani, nikokaike kubegushi. Ngoba, umangenze gilogo. Uyofiga, wenunga azutu nesifo, ustelele, abantu basekai. Ngoba, psunga ngaga nani, masebe kula, mshambe sebe hambe mshabini. Kanti uba wafagi maski, wasala gute, ngaba wenze ganga, siakele. Elanji, kakulu. Jengo bagufuulu anjezo mnoto. Agu ushuguti lesifo sona sesi sesi naso sesi sesi ya damba. Jengo bagufuulu mnoto naso sekon. So kufanel guti naranjani. Sizi begi. Asinga katali sesi sebe nzile saze safigala. Asale sesi tinsela. Senze njenga ba la baba sugebe kichimi marathon. Ay guti ba sugebe figa la pa. Be fresh. Na kwa na ba figa sebe katel. Kuta ba kinsel. Atumta ay kinsel ingze ngeo figa. No mese zutu ya katala. Azami. No mese zutu ey segu lonli la manjaba ninga ba seko se simbalwa. Ya kinsel. As kinsel eni genati. Gobi nzuzo mas figa kona. Yoguti. Abantaba ningi mpilo zabo. Zio pepa. Abantaba ningi ngekeba stoli sifo. Mnotu wetu yotubega. So, inzuzo. Ngo kinsela izo ba ningi. As kinselin. Siazu kuchaglula kutu as kinselin. Imi uisifonyo njusasu usfaga njusasu ichelu. Utmanke tukoga nji. Before Puma, Fag is is for so see in my energy. Yentengi Kogil. 
Ungabusa <laughs> I guess it pulls with Twala Gentlel. I guess not pulls with Twala to puzzle which you do dagung as a zika malak. I guess it pulls in Jigash. Singer Louis Gobilo Gulla or Gwenza Twali Bellel. Guess even no tool and genomas puzzil. Mushega boom dot me puzzle messes with I have a lila lil. Agfuneng jagu to yet have a nuzu dago zung as as, go about usuya lanjao sas no good twins in, sas of sus bonusu say, suses toxin. How kibule lumun to mean? Sumule lumun to. No moment to say spell. No mususha in coscas, no mususha in tombazan, susha in gun. Seattel, go Kulugus Tob, Uguti, Jungoba Vulu Joal, I guess it puze, Gentil. Forty miles of Shayeli Motto. No me pass, no main, Uzo Twala Banto, no Muso Basim Cacreno Nabanto. Muso Puza Uzo Tag, and Gobama and as to a inner my reflex in Gessizul. Maupuzi, la my reflex are quite a slow. I was shesh. So no more born any more days, and my reflex are quite a sharp. So can you so shy? No more born a moon to a cross. No mingani cross. Go by my reflex are quite a sharp. Can you so shy? Can't if you wound a puzil, and my reflex are cabez of a sharp. Stop it. Mutazule. Say, I tell a laggy baggage. Manas would in your puss and abangan. Oh, yet away Naganga puss la cool. And the good niche a shyle, nifigue, Gasica and Gashai sang a moon to nan in Galimalang. As to begin by it. Now, some seven zino so my business is here by tell what by land they limited to years in peel. Bagwens a go and get ok fanel. Goba umma menga wins, zoba ninking. As foon gooty, jungle back shook to amtam exobaconis second search, zobaconis cut foot lice or pin the lessy for season gets vinin, Siza mugu que malog. Gutting and zig. Got the say a song. Sends of fanel. Uzo quemek. Umas na bambi say, Ukonabat, I mina. And fag is for your mina and gainty luto. Aguzulung. Eh, in the woge is nagazu fool. In the lazy, up to a maclap as if soup. I'm a night club. I was a zoo, I was a one. Sponi lega manya mazwe, laisi fo beses ngati mpela sese apela. Bavula ma night club, sa pepe teka. Ngan go baban, aban tu espechala sa base bangani, ba ya hamba ba kwale night club. Ba sonde lane, ba tele lane. Besebe yapi, besebe yimakai. Makaya konu kok, konu mkul, konu ma, konu baba, konu malu, mekal mal megaz. Sebe figa sebe abatelel. Bona mtamba asizu batlupa no batlupa. Abezu zaz no gutiba nasu. Besege afiwa, bona nasi sifo se stala futses bulala bantu. So geste asfunde inle lag tui buzu wa guaba pambili. Se abona guaba pambili gutama night club nogo. A saying king, 
So it's take a man night lap, who will menu to a man night lap, or a gamegan man. As Gazovu la footamapanoi, Ogu amapas, Ogamba, Ogambi Saban, Ogu two tanchi. Say lawa two timpal. Got a lawa two taban to Jenga pan, the Magu with a bandaba suga la babuele mazuinabo, no mabataba suga wamaya mamas or babuele kai South Africa. Got one jenji. Ama panoya yanga pande asa value kuvulwe la wanga pagat. Nemku mbile yokuwebelega, nemku lu, oktua makruz na yo isa value. E ama kru pele kru exchange avunye lugo tuanje guti so hamba nje organiza nje siti si ngwa basi agui cruz ha agavunye lo lugo. Eh, neze mila loge, noma zifuliwe, koto wa babu geli, basa kailo wa kuti babu gele TV. Abage zugu wa zugu ya 8am, bayo ubuge la kona. Koba logo, kusab, bayo zengulu kuti le sifo, sipepe tege kakulu njengom, E lezo gizinto ez nga gezu uvulwa. Ez savaliwe. Bese gesi tijas bonge. Nina nonke. Kagogonke. Ngwenzile. Kubegani. Si ankelgu ti kubegani. Noma na. Nini na 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 ma kosi. Omtabu. Noma na ma NGO. Noma na ba sebenza. Makoskazi incha. In Tanga, no, no, my epi. As Kubeganinje, city evangel. Loguti, a coat, a good guess with Anja would go away a mamma's king gabby, named Nabantabaninki, no mem can be funyel, got a wukum in both yell with two bang a pezulu, Guamashuma Maslan. No ma we are shada, no ma winzani, is balo, sabantu, a siluli, a mashumina maslan. E umwabo au shuli mashumi ne masano. Kongo kwenye gaio kusa tinge guguti abantu baba mashuma masano pele. Koba sense luguti le sifo singa pepe take. Kote ge masas pele sasa bonye guti aige manje. Besege kuyavulwa kuto gua manje sasa kile nje guti sbegeze le lane sisebenzi sane sisangane. Silwe na leke wane. As kubege nige silwe nalo. Sifagi sifonyo. Sikezi zanza. Sikakane. Kuze kufigi sikati. Lapo. So guazu buyela emufa. Owa manje. Sisakela guti. Ages kubege ganjalo. Siabongage. Kini nanonke. Enla lele nenga la lele. Gagogo nke nguenzayo. Uguti, si pepe, si songe, kia bonga. Um, <clears throat> we thank you very much, Minister, for taking us through uh, that, pro that process that brought us to this point where we can clearly say that we have made progress in the management of this uh, pandemic and we welcome uh, the progress that we have made and some of the changes that are, are coming out in the, in the regulations. Uh, and also cautioning us though that uh, we are still not out of the woods yet. We must exercise caution uh, as we go forward. As I mentioned earlier on, uh, the ministers, the relevant ministers will give us briefings on the specifics and the details of these regulations. I'm told at four o'clock, uh, Minister of Sports, uh, Arts and Culture will be briefing us and the Minister of Tourism will be briefing us tomorrow. And as I said, other ministers will be briefing us uh, throughout the week. So Minister will take questions now 
And I want to say that as we formulate those questions, must, questions, must remember that uh, the details part will be answered by the ministers. We must formulate questions that deal with the overall uh, regulations at level two. Uh, do we will t uh, take questions from the callers? And then there we also have questions that are coming out of the social networks. And Nongaba will be helping us with those. Uh, do we have questions from the callers? Do we have any calls? Minister, uh, they say you are very clear. There are no, qu there are no questions from the calls. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> from the socials, do we have uh, questions? Yes, we do, Lungi. Yes. Okay, the first question is from Brian Sokutu from The Citizen. He's asking, um, much has been said by the President on how alcohol sales are to be regulated, but nothing is said about tobacco. Can we please get clarity on how the sale of tobacco will be regulated? Uh, a related question to that is from Alex Mitchley from News24. Um, and he's saying that the ban on the sale of tobacco products and liquor was meant to serve the same purpose, which is to limit the strain on the health system. Why is it then that liquor will be sold subject to strict conditions, but there are no restrictions on the sale of tobacco? Um, another tobacco-related question is also from Brian, from The Citizen, is asking how is government going to mitigate against the health risk associated with tobacco? Um, another related question, also on tobacco, is from Earl September, from the Sont Courant. Um, with the sale of tobacco being permitted again, is the minister concerned about an immediate surge in respiratory illnesses, and uh, is there any scientific evidence to this effect? Um, Vickers from Nadvat Firendwandag is asking, what is the purpose of the 10 p.m. curfew? Uh, does the minister think this will really make uh, an, in, an, an impact in the prevention of trans transmission compared to, for an example, a midnight curfew? Another question related to the curfew is that um, if the curfew is 10 o'clock and uh, establishments close at 10, what will then happen to the workers who would have been working at those particular establishments? Can I continue? Should I stop there for now? Uh, um, I think the tobacco questions, we can take them as one question, and then we'll take two more questions. Okay. Um, another tobacco question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does the minister foresee the possibility of selling um, of al alcohol and cigarettes being banned again if there is a second wave or a sudden spike in COVID-19 infections. And the last one is from Natasha Piri from SABC News. Uh, she's asking, won't government face a mammoth task in ensuring that social gatherings at people's private residences are restricted to 10 people? So basically asking how government is going to ensure that only 10 people would gather at a person's private residence. Thank you, Lungi. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Mlu? Uh, yes. Sorry, uh, we have uh, uh, one caller on the line. We have Chris from International News Network. Okay. Uh, we'll, okay, we'll start with the answering his question. Okay, you can bring it on. This is Chris from Peter from International News Network. I hear that uh, the whole restriction on lockdown two is all entertainment and drinking and, and smoking and what have you. Is there anything in it for business, uh, like conferences? You know, you work on percentages for uh, theatres and shows and that. Can we limit then or take it as logical that conferences can run at 50%, the same as other people? Or, and my second question is, how long do you anticipate this lockdown two to last? before the entertainment industry can start again. Th thank you very much for that question. I will allow the minister to answer the... Entertainment yes. Uh, we will allow the minister to respond to the questions that, as I said, 
that um, the, she will respond to the questions that are related to the regulations in general and uh, the ministers responsible will respond to the to the detail uh, minister you can take it from there can i take it from here or should i yes you can okay okay Uh, hey. uh, thank you very much. Maybe let me start with uh, tobacco um, and tobacco will just be sold. There, there are no uh, particular restrictions on it, unlike alcohol. A uh, part of the reason is that tobacco, the reason tobacco was banned was that um, if you uh, are a smoker for quite some time and you go into the, and you get COVID as, a, as it is a respiratory though it affects other diseases, but it, other organs, but it does go into the lungs and the respiratory tract. You, there was evidence that was coming from other countries that the smokers will tend to have a more serious disease, which would mean it will need more ICU beds and maybe need ventilators. That's one set of issues. But on the other hand, when you stop smoking, the results of stopping smoking do show pretty quickly. So your, 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 your respiratory tract does improve uh, uh, quickly and just your general well-being does improve. So that's why it was... Uh, uh, prohibited uh, temporarily but now that there are beds in hospital there are ICU beds there are um, also uh, ventilators that are adequate should more people need them that's why uh, it had to be then allowed and there are no restrictions of course alcohol has it comes at a different level uh, angle because with alcohol people drink they drive they fight um and we've seen literally how during lockdown car accidents trauma patients trauma units were emptying when alcohol was not allowed. And we also saw when it was allowed, how it went up. So uh, to then just open completely stands a risk of the surge coming back and overwhelming the, the, the health service. That's why it was agreed that we start slowly with Monday to Thursday, 9 to 5, and also after the curfew, um, nobody uh, sells alcohol. If you, let me also just explain this thing of the curfew. If you recall, when we brought back the curfew, it was from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. It was the restaurants that said that their workers and other people are not able to get home on time if it's nine. It was to accommodate them to bring it to 10. But the rest, the Minister of Tourism uh, can, can explain. But I just want to remind ourselves that it moved from nine to 10 to accommodate the restaurants. Um, 
And I think it's it's important to still keep the curfew, especially because we're opening alcohol, to see how things go. Uh, of course, when all is well, the curfew is also a temporary measure. It's not something that's going to be there forever. But as we open alcohol, I think the curfew is useful. Uh, in terms of the police, whether they'll be able to police people who are visiting, whether only 10 people visit or more. You know, I think it's important to assume that the vast majority of South Africans are law-abiding citizens. They don't need to be policed for every action. That's the assumption that we make, that the majority of South Africans are law-abiding. When they know that this is the law, this is not allowed, they will not do it. But in addition to that, it's for their safety and the safety of their families. So it's very important that people keep to the rules, not for the sake of government, but for our own sake, for the sake of the families, for the sake of the communities, so that we limit the spread. And we limit the spread, especially to older people. So that is the rationale. The rationale is not that there will be a policeman in every household. It's not possible and it's not desirable. What is desirable is that citizens must take responsibility as good citizens and law-abiding citizens. Jongo <laughs> No mabaling as we ugulwa back in a spellilla. No mabai well, less a bit taggy webbing as I was ugamba back in a spellilla. No mabasha is way more to say be hamba be diazelem cacquin back in a spellilla. So Uchua la fanele sip of leg and anigan and sibon gutti is bellilla azuva lega, gokshesha, umabu vula, cacul, siaz for two gutti. Butengwa ga kulu gempela sondo. Uliwa ga kulu fute gempela sondo. Ike fiu agen kazu guti. Geskati si memezela. Ama regulations alule. Saati ike fiu ikala go nine psu wipele ngo four. Abantu bama restaurant. Also, my business is about a ma restaurant, but I eat king and my pelango nine. Go bago shooty, quandle back at Abantabazayo, Basheshe back at the Nabantabasabenzayo, is cut so clean is each a nanny nanny, a back a little coach. Inga go a veiling at the Isipelango ten, Sai Kubak, Gobas who meno lale lie, Sayenzu ten. Yike a way born a witty coach. Quack Sanga Cheswa born, which is a eagle, a mashuminama, a shumin, a sugate nine. A Ukona Gobuzuguti, Gabe, Kumanga Belisi for Spepetega, Go Pinde, Go Benway, no chala, no quay. I go bangs on his ango, mangs or to go bonaga langalisus cat. So Bonamas is figuring up. We are not there. We are here now. 
Let's not now talk about bridges that we haven't even reached. We can't cross a bridge when you're not there. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, e accommodation, eh, nama conference, kuvuliwe, jengo ba something must be a gazette. Nishilo kuvuliwe, kodwa aguvuliwe, ama conference, ama international, kufavulwe lawa asekai. Conferences are open, accommodation is open, but internally, we are not dealing with international conferences yet. I don't know whether that answers the question. It's not only entertainment, but accommodation and conferences are also allowed. Conferences and meetings, which are subject to a limitation of 50 people, excluding those who are participating electronic on electronic platforms, are open. Hey, I think I've answered the questions that were directed. I don't know if there's anyone that I missed. I can, I, I could be reminded. I, I think you covered all, Minister, um, and uh, Minister of Tourism can further elaborate. There was a question on whether 50% 50, 50 or 50 people. I think Minister of Tourism will, will be able to well, deal Well, there, there are instances where it's 50 people. There are instances where it's 50%. If you look at the Gazette, it's very clear. Some areas, it's 50 people. And few areas, it's 50%. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we will go back to the lines and check if there are any more questions. We'll take one more round of questions. Uh, anything from the callers? No, th thanks, Mulungi. Uh, there's no questions at the moment on the lines. Thanks. Thank you very much, Nangaba. Uh, thank you, Lungi. Mm, Christian Duplessis from Netverk Ferendunach is asking, um, why has government decided not to follow the differentiated strategy whereby provinces and districts are allowed to be on different levels? Hmm. Um, Helen from Caxton Local Media is asking, um, I note that the gazetted regulations specifically exclude nightclubs from establishments that may open. What is a criteria, what criteria differentiates a pub, a bar, a tavern from a nightclub? Um, she's also asking what about chisanyamas? Are those classified as bars or nightclubs as some people use them as nightclubs? Um, a related question to that is from Okay, okay, go ahead. Okay. A related question is from Karima Brown, who's asking, uh, given the experience of other countries which um, experienced a second, a second waves of infections and have now restricted access to bars, is government considering learning from this, or is this a wholesale opening of bars around the country? Um... At World Lamin from Alliance News is asking, what does government uh, intend on doing if COVID-19 cases spike again in the next couple of weeks? Might this prompt that we go back to level three or level four or level five? Um, um, Mervyn Charles from Cape August is asking, um, Minister, you've been criticised for the tobacco ban and the sale of on-site alcohol consumption. You've also been a subject of a number of court cases. How do you respond to the litigations and the criticism in this regard? Can I continue? Uh, that is five questions. Can okay. we take one more? Okay, one more. Yeah. Uh, Spungala from New Zealand Africa is asking, under which category do uh, 
do we place traditional ceremonies such as ukuhlabela amadlozi are they regarded as a social event at a place of residence which is 10, 10 people or are they regarded as a religious gathering which is 50 people put differently can communities and people conduct their traditional and spiritual ceremonies under level two thank you lungi thank thank you very much um, lungi uh, yes. We, we have yes, one caller. Yes, we have yes. Nariam from uh, uh, Finwick. Thanks. Ma okay. Nariam, over to you. Thank you very much. My question is about recreational sports. Will groups of people be allowed to play games like soccer, volleyball, and water uh, polo together? That, that's a question. Thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you very much for that. So what we will do now is we'll ask the minister to respond to the questions and then we will adjourn. Okay, thanks very much. Um, the minister of sport is already waiting outside here. He's already in this building. So I think uh, just wait for him to explain all the sporting issues. Uh, because if I start explaining, what will you ask him? He's here already. So please bear with me as the Minister of Sports. Spiritual ceremonies, um, as far as I know, if those gatherings are going to be kept at 50, with all the protocols, they will be allowed. Social distancing, masks, and washing of hands but kept to 50 as a ceremony. 10 is visits, people, visitors, that I cannot receive more than 10 visitors in my house this afternoon if I wanted to receive visitors. Well, today I can't anyway until midnight, but after midnight, even after midnight, I can only receive up to 10, not more than 10. But if it's a function, a social event, it cannot be more than 50 people. Um, then different levels. Well, uh, if you look at the criteria that was used to determine the hotspots, pretty much every part of our country is a hotspot still. So there was no point in differentiating them um, because we are trying to balance these livelihoods and saving lives. But also the way South Africa is integrated, somebody works in one district and, and stays in another district, somebody does their shopping in another district but they live in another district, we are very much integrated and it's going to be difficult uh, for now to separate. It's better to, to, to have, but uh, who knows in future. For now, uh, it was deemed not to be uh, useful to, to differentiate. The difference between Shisanyama, between nightclub, between bar, between the ministers who deal with those things will give you definitions of those. I cannot. I do not know. The, defi the definition of a bar as opposed to a shisanyama, as opposed to a nightclub, as, uh, let me not venture into that. The ministers who deal with those tourism, small business, they will all be briefing you sometime and they will go to details with those things. As the, our, our, our facilitator did say that I will just be talking about broad things, not going into details about, because there are ministers who are responsible who will deal with that. Uh, are we learning from other countries? Yes, we are. It was precisely for that reason that night clubs are still closed sporting events, spectators are still not allowed. But obviously, 
if things go wrong in what we have opened, we will have to reconsider whatever uh, the, 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 the case may be at that time. Um, now, I don't know about this thing of how I take criticism. I can deal with court cases. Court cases, what we do when we defend ourselves, we tell the courts the rationale for having taken that decision, the evidence on which we based that decision, and the, the why we took that decision. What do we want to achieve? Will what we do, do achieve the purpose for which it is meant? That's really in a nutshell. Of course, we go into details, but in a nutshell, that's how we've been defending ourselves. Um, and that's why uh, we've won the cases, because we, we've taken very rational decisions and we've used methods that will achieve what is there, and we have used evidence that is available. Um, criticism about tobacco, let me just say, you know, people I think are giving me cre too much credit that I do not deserve. I do not run the government. I'm part of a collective in government, but I do not run the government. Because the way people have been putting it, it's, a, it's as though the entire cabinet, I tell them, you, we are going to uh, limit the sale of tobacco. Now we're going to open the sale of tobacco. Now we're going to limit alcohol. No, I don't do that. I think you're just giving me too much credit that I do not deserve. And I think you're also um, shortchanging the government and the president because the president leads a team, and it's the team that decides. Yes, everybody puts their views, everybody argues, but at the end of the day, what is decided is decided by the team. So picking on me as though I'm the only one who decides, yes, in the end, I'm the one who signs. On these, on these regulations because somebody has, we can all have 30 odd signatures. Someone must take the responsibility and I do, that's why I sign. But to pretend that it's just my decisions, I think it's, it's actually disingenuous to say that. But if uh, so, I mean, I suppose some people find it easier to find a scape scapegoat. That's part of life. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Minister. And on that note... Oh, maybe I should also explain in Zulu. Oh, yeah. In um, Values in Tongo Sugana, when you eat district value and go Sugana, when you go Kalanje, Intelis Pilanga, South Africa. I go Meli Log, go back Conabantabasala. It's one got a basebenze cool. Mind your mouse over nom teto sugi, let's one, nom teto sugi, le cool, Lomuntos or Wins and Jan. Conabantu. Abasebenz abasale sabeluin basebenze etolopin. Manga begu no muyum te togle tolopa basebenza glona, gun no muyum te toglo sabe gule sabe lo balala con, abasala con, guzo gwenzegan. Igo ges wunguti owa manji, a wenzegin defana yo yonkin dao. E igos na zange uhulmeni asuganis. E inda bazo guti si si chugani saganja ni oshi sanya ama ne inda oza sepsu guna ma para na ma taven logo zokazwa gashi abapati swa abakonde ne na leumnyango inda ba yoguti si zogwa zinuklala 
i recreational sport uhlala singadlala imali nje sijablisa nginga uphendula lo mbuzo kodwa ngicela ukungawuphendula ngoba umphathiswa ophethe lo mnyango usekhona ngifike sekhona vele em wathi manguphuma uyalandela so ngicela ukuthi lo mbuzo uthi ukuma uzokuphendula yena kwase kuba khona obuza ngemcimbi eh yokwenza imisebenzi emakhaya ukuthi le misebenzi ihlangene nala nalezivakashi ezu10 noma ihlukile ihlukile kodwa nayo idinga ukuthi ufake isifonyo idinga ukuthi kugezwe izandla kahle idinga ukuthi kuhlalwe kuqaqanwe social distancing idinga futhi ukuthi abantu bangabi ngaphezu kwe kwamashumi amahlanu sebehlangene nalaba nalaba balayikhaya bangabi ngaphezu kwamashumi amahlanu ngoba kugwemeka ukuthi ungenze umsebenzi emva kwamasonto amabili nanku seke angcwatshwa lapha nanku seke angcwatshwa lapha ngoba nifike nenze umsebenzi nangayilandela imgomo abantu bathola isifo sebeyashona akuzuba mnandi nabo laba baphansi kade nibenzela akuzuba mnandi masekuthiwa bebela manje abantu bebezela ikhaya sebefika sibe so kuhle ukuthi siyenze kodwa siyenze ngemthetho evumelekile yezempilo em ukuthi siyabonela eni kwamanye amazwe nje ngoba amanye amazwe akade ngathi ase asephumlile kulelicwane esephinda aqala phansi ngizothi yebo siyabonela iwo nje sithe ama night club awangaqala vula ne nemidlalo ukuthi ababukeli bangaqali babe khona eh kodwa ke futhi njengoba sivulile uma kubonakala ukuthi kunenkinga so masifika lapho la sithola khona inkinga siphinde sicabange kabusha siphinde si senze loko okufanele sikwenze ukuze sibhekane naleyo inkinga akusho ukuthi ukwenzeke namhlanje seku casting stone seku 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 yiche simende sewomile xa sithemba ukuthi abantu bakithi bazowulalela umthetho benze kufanele singafiki lapho la kufanele size siphinde sibuke kabusha ukuthi ngempela lokuvala usaqhubeka noma kusaqhubeke sithemba ukuthi abantu bakithi bazowulalela kodwa amakhono okwenzekayo okudinga ukuthi siphinde sithathe elinye iqandi solithatha eh kwase kuba khona lo obuza ukuthi eh ngendaba kagwayi notshwala eh inkantolo senze njani njengoba kade ngicekwa mina siku ngendaba yogwayi notshwala ngithatha kanjani eyase inkantolo inkantolo seyachazela ukuthi yini eyenze sithathe lesinqumo besifuna ukuthi kube nomphumela onjani masithatha lesinqumo sisebenzise lupho lwazi olusitshelayo ukuthi uma senza kanje kungahle kwenzeke kanje bese ke siyalqok siyabanikeza ke konke sibachazele kahle mabe bona ukuthi cha esisithathe ngoko umthetho lento esiyenzile futhi izokwenza ukuthi lempumelelo esifunayo ingenzeka amasenza kanje ibheka lokho inkantolo ibheke nobufakazi esibsebenzisile eh bese ke iyanquma ke mayelana ke nokugxeka mina siqu ngithi mina uyaziningika amandla engenawo ningika amandla engenawo ngempela kwathatha apha nje amandla emvele ngitshela uHulumeni ukuthi vala lokho vula lokho vala lokho vula lokho angnawo la umandla akumina ophethe uHulumeni 
Ukulmen upeto munga meli. Ne timba lake. Laba patiso. Aupeto imen. Gago rengi tinji au. Ningiga manji mpela makuli kakule nge nao. E futi. Umanga be sextestat. Gia koko. Hulmenwe tu gia koko. Ilo ya figa fagumbone wake, ilo ya figa fagumbone wake, aveze uluazu, kutima mgu nje, gu nje, kukoko nje, kutatwe ne, ne, ne mbone puma kwa bange mtlambe, jenga bo kwepesha la waba abalule uminista weze mpilo. Konke, stokwe, stokwe, sifige la sifume la nakon kutinangu. Bese kwenze ka logo oke. Okay. I would see Conoye at Donjovelinje and Abeungo. Onga vela luge tati ingu mwonje yetwa, yetwa, yetwa kukulmini. Ubuge la pantu kukulmini wetu logo mtela nigieke. Sisebenza jengo kukulmini. Oi kolektivu. Asebenzi ngu mtu yetu. Kinga shonjalo. Koto agepela maizi mwazi ilku nje mtlabe nisiazi mpilweni. Kubalula nje kutolu mundo kuzove lektiwe uyena. Tlambe kwenza sifile ka ngono, mas tolu mtoye etu angazi. Koto nji, ay, ay, koyonke leodo. So, minangi tati, gabi, di tata nji ugutu welu, sesi mwene sinzima, abandu, tlambe, batola gulula nji ugutu bekona, umunta bazo ulo gbe mshaya, guti mtlambe bazo fila ka ngono magunjalo. Kutuwa nje kini soguti sebenza suhulmeni, skolo uprezidenti, umnumzane usiril matamela, ramaposa, na ya gafiga sho, ati njenzani luglu, kia koko wakali, atati mbonu wa izu wa izu wa ikale, enze gonke, bese kitatu isu mbonu, kia bonga. Sia bonga, minister, and that brings us to the conclusion of this briefing. We would like to thank you for lending us your ear and for your attention. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much. All right, uh, that was an update on level two lockdown uh, regulations uh, that is expected to take effect from tomorrow. That uh, particular update by the Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs Minister, Dr. Nkosasa Nadla Minizuma.